Hello again. This is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill at Expressionist Fluid Art Studio. That's a 12 inch by 24 inch canvas. And although I am a color art affiliate, I'm going to start my start my base paint as I think it's called Verve Violet. Yes, it is. And I'm going to spread some of that so I don't have to rely on all of it spreading out from the spin. I'm going to spread some of it with my OXO omelet turning flip and fold as flip and fold spatula. Best paint spreading tool I know of. And I want to do a swipe, but I watched someone do a swipe earlier, which reminded me to use my house paint because I've got beautiful colors. And they went all the way across the painting. And I want to try and keep a swipe centralized. Seems to be a fairly decent layer of paint there. Which begs the question, do I want to move some, some of it to the inside? And I might. Pardon that obnoxious fan in the background. I was trying to drown out the stereo that's being played in the other room. Not very loudly. Which might beg me to turn this awful fan off. So, I'm going to put my basic centralized layer down in the, in the center. Yeah, let's be redundant. And I want to make sure but the rest of my paint is fairly well equally distributed because once I start spinning everything's going to want to move. I am going to knock some of that paint right over the edge just to clean my spatula off and then wipe the rest off on the canvas and on my studio rag which I recommend everybody has a nice soft studio rag I probably should have stirred my paint up a little more. I gave it a bit of a shake, but I'm doing accidental art and I don't think it's going to hurt anything. I'm going to use some long spatulas that I've got. And I'm going to try and do a spatula swipe with colors on the spatula. I'm going to start with a little bit of Amsterdam. Amsterdam White in Aussie Floatrol. And then I have some Atelier Black. And I don't want to go overboard. I don't I haven't done too many spatula swipes. And I think I'm gonna use a little bit of I was gonna use a midnight shadow, but I think I'm gonna go a little bit lighter than that and go for the deep amethyst. I want a blue color and I have a cerulean blue. And then I have some interference. I'm wondering if maybe because it's such a long spatula that I can put it in a couple places and leave a gap. But I'm also wondering if I want <laughs> if I want to do that. So I've got some jasmine. And I'm happy that all these colors are fitting on there. And I'm going to allow myself the pleasure of using some Mayan gold. I could use the uh, interference gold. I'd like to see how far this will go. My intention is using the other spatula I have. And I know I'll lose everything that's on the end. And on the edges, most likely. So I will wipe off my tools on the edges. And then, again, on my paint cloth. Maybe I'll just use the same spatula again so it'll be the same width. 
instead of playing around with that. And then I'm going to try and repeat the same thing I just did, which is looking pretty slick actually. Although I'm kind of missing some orange, so I'm going to grab a little bit. Because I don't think a little bit of orange crush is going to hurt anything. So I started with the white. And I used the Atelier Black, which is really super thick. But the, it's a black called Interactive, and I've mixed them a bunch of times, and they never stop being thick. No matter what you do, they stay thick. So, here's the Deep Amethyst again. I'm going to slide some orange in, some orange crush in toward the middle, because I can. And back to the jasmine again. I'm going to want to get some of this stuff out of here in a moment. And then I'm going to do the Mayan gold. Which I don't really see a whole lot of. I'm always surprised by how actually how far the cell activator goes in reality. And I can play with the edges because I know it's going to spin off anyway. I'm going to throw that in the bucket, move this one out of the way, and a few other things, and then we're going to spin out. as quickly as we can. Well, the longer I wait right now, honestly, the more likely cells are to develop. I could also blow into them, which is a pretty standard procedure that I've noticed a lot of people indulge in. Let me get rid of some of my colors here. I see a little bit of that blue and I'm not unhappy about it. I'm probably going to tip that I meant to use some of that Snapdragon, but I didn't do it. And I think I meant to use some Cerulean Blue on the second side, and I didn't do that either, darn. Okay, well, let's see what happens. With the tipping. And I keep wondering, I pulled out a palette knife just in case I wanted to try and do some scoop and drags. I didn't get very many cells on this side. That's kind of strange. I do like the idea of spreading the paint around. And it's, I think, my original assessment that keeping the paint centralized wasn't a bad idea. But we'll see how that works. I have far more bubbles on my second swipe through, too. I wonder if I can take some cell activator. Let me find a smaller palette knife. And let me try at least a little bit. Press some white, then some black. at least try and see if I was going to get any cells. It makes me want to try some gold. But I think I'm going to spin before I take that chance. Or make that choice. It's more likely. Let's grab my lid. <laughs> Everything and anything within the parameters of this enclosure will get spun on. The 
there is a trick that I forgot. I think I need to go across the bars so I have a free space and I need to make sure it's very centralized. And it's a good experiment, even if I'm not doing it perfectly. Whoops, <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> lift off. We, don't, we want to avoid lift off. I'm going to take a minute and let some of this come down in the other direction. I'm liking the colors, even the fact that it's different from one side to the other is okay with me. The first side has spectacular cells though. It doesn't keep me from wanting to do that to the second side. So maybe I will. Let's use, I've got some Atelier, not interactive I guess because it's phalo turquoise. If I don't overdo it, there's my white, there's my black. I still want some of that pink. There's the turquoise. And I'm dripping. There's the jasmine. This is a sort of a fake it till you make it type deal. Move those out again. Wipe that palette knife off in case I decide to do a scoop and drag, which I probably won't. At least not right this second. Let's make sure I can spin that whole thing around. No, nope, I can't. That's okay. Let's get this right up here again in position. It's, it's to say the least, it's tight with a foot, uh, 12 by 24. I'm liking the, what did I say, verve violet in the background. I think it's, when, once there gets to be a bunch of the Sherwin-Williams paint on the base, on the spinner base, it makes it uh, very slippery. So I could change to the other direction. I'm liking it. It looks like a wave. That's a better spin by far. I haven't done a large canvas in this style or even very many of these palette knife swipes. And I am liking it. Even though there's a little bit of wonkiness going on over there, it's still pretty cool. I'm not sure about this here. I have some more paint. I could just tip that again. It's not my usual... I, I kind of forget to do it sometimes. <laughs> Let's see if we can get it to flow down there at all. I see it's moving, but it's very, very slow. It could be... <laughs> it could be 30 seconds of nothing but me tipping this canvas. But I see it is going. I don't really want to lose much of anything. And I feel a lot like taking the canvas and moving it to the other the other direction so I don't have any slippery paint on the crossbar. Yeah, that looks like a nice big purple wave or a wave with sunset or something similar. And uh, I don't think we need to spin that much, which is pretty cool. Definitely need the barrier though, or I wind up with paint all over my clothes. Not that I don't anyway. Good experiment. Experiment I will be doing again. Probably with smaller palette knives and doing some scoop and drags. And the, um, the barrier does work as a good break. That's pretty cool. I especially like the bottom half, but the top half isn't bothering me much either. I'm wondering, I keep thinking I could swipe, <laughs> and I keep trying, and it's pretty much proving me that it's not 
my best inclination. <laughs> so I'm probably just going to wait on that. I've got a few gaps on my edges, but it means mostly no. Mostly I have filled in the gaps. And I've used up my 17 minutes. So I'll tell you, I sell my artwork. This will be for sale. And uh, I'm not unhappy with that experiment at all. I really like, I like the vertical. Definitely reminds me of a wave. I'm going to torch in spite of the fact that it's not recommended because I'd like to be able to get rid of a few bubbles that I saw, especially that one. That was looking more like an object than a bubble. And that needs to come out. Whatever it is needs to come out. Seems more like a flaw in the canvas than a bubble or an object. So I will be looking for bubbles. I do use GAC 800 by Golden in all of my paint mixes, so it helps keep the painting from cracking. There's another object. Whoops, I'm glad that didn't land on my foot. Pull that right out, whatever it is. I'm trying to look in the sideways light. There's some really beautiful stuff down here. And I kind of like that I put the orange on one side and not on the other. But the first side was definitely the more successful. I could probably just take a picture and let it go and do another, do another part. Not that I will. Let's see if I can get the shimmer effect going. I've got paint all over myself. I could have put some spirals in there, I suppose. I'm not sure if I want to now. There's a couple places I wouldn't mind fixing up a little bit. Completing a line. And uh, there was Australian Floetrol in here, so it will probably continue to sell some. I'm not unhappy that I that I went back and gave it a few more a few more swipes. All right, so this is Priscilla Batzell in Spring, Florida, saying please give me a thumbs up if you like my experimentation. And I know I love you guys, and you inspire the heck out of me. I appreciate your comments. You keep my morale boosted, and I really super appreciate that. If you are looking for my email address, it's EASPB in the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com. You can find it on my new website under construction on the link tree, as well as on my old website, also on the link tree, along with Society6 and Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links. Uh, my Amazon link has two, my, my two books on it because I can in Unlimited Possibilities. Great Christmas presents. Uh, great presents anytime for somebody who does paint pouring. They're the first and the second 100 videos I did for YouTube. I post at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time right now. Who knows what it'll be when you see this. <laughs> Questions are welcome. My community board will show you tomorrow's video most nights. My paint pouring recipe is below the video. I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. I'll say goodbye for now. This is Priscilla Batzell, Spring Hill, Florida, at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery, saying, Priscilla, out. I love you guys. You're probably gone. I'll be looking for bubbles and popping them. Take care of each other. Take care, take care of yourselves. How many times can I say goodbye? You're gone. See ya. Anon.